Hello, just want us to do something that is very interesting today. That is I'm talking about the the mediating and the moderative variable. I want us to deal with what to do with a mediative variable first. Mediative variable variables. So I want us to look at this first. So what is mediative variable? Mediative variable is simply saying that you have an IV. I also have a DV here. Now, in between, we have what? A mediative variable, which is MV. Independent variable means it doesn't depend on anything to exist as far as this relationship is concerned. Why independent variable means that it depends on something to survive. So, and the arrow goes like this. So, what we are saying now is DV depends on the MV, and the MV depends on the IV, and IV doesn't depend on anybody. This might not be the best way to explain this to you. I want us to go further to explain it in a way that you will, you will understand it. Let's go back here. Assume that this is X, this is Y. We say that Y depend on X to exist. We say once you increase Y, you increase X, Y is going to increase. If you decrease X, Y is going to decrease. So this one is all direct relationship. But where MV is saying, MV, which is mediative variable, is saying, you are joking. Though S and Y are related, without them going through me, nothing can happen. Nothing will happen. So this is where, assume this is one is K. So K is saying, forget what they are saying. Without me, this relationship cannot exist. This relationship what cannot exist without me. Okay, now I want to give you a practical example of what I'm talking about in this mediative variable. Assume you are the type that work a lot in the office. So you have a lot of stress in the office. Have a lot of work stress in the office. A work pressure. Your boss is always disturbing you. We say, as far as they are pressurizing you, something will happen that one day you will break down and you will see yourself consuming what? Too much of alcohol. Alcohol consumption. So we say, we are saying, as far as the work pressure increase, there's high probability that you will be consuming a lot of alcohol. But it is not true that it's not everybody that is distressed at work. Or it's not everybody that is being pressurized in the, in the office that, that drink alcohol. So what we are not saying that is that's what? So somebody in the S is saying, or another thing is saying that work stress might be work pressure might be there, and alcohol consumption might also be there. But if this work, if this works distress, without work distress, there is no way that this guy can consume alcohol. He's saying the work stress, work stress, work pressure, or work pressure, must lead to work distress. It is a work distress that will not lead to what? The consumption of alcohol. If it is just ordinary work pressure, you are being pressurized, there's high probability that you will not be consuming too much of alcohol. But if this work pressure leads to work distress, it might cause you to be consuming some certain things. So see what I say now? So without this work distress, there is no way that work pressure can result to alcohol consumption. Okay, good. Now, I give you another example.
I give you another example. Assume that you are very creative. We say creativity leads automatically to what? Organizational innovation. Uh, is it true that if one is creative, automatically they, you are creative, your creativity can automatically lead to work organization? You will know that it's not true. Because there are so many things in between that must take place before you can achieve organization innovation. Creativity alone is not enough. Creativity must give birth to what? Innovative behavior. Creativity must give birth to what? Innovative behavior. Is this innovative behavior that will later give birth to what? Organizational innovation. Without this behavior, you will never achieve this. So now, I believe, but this one is just a little partial because there's other variable that must be attached to this before we can achieve you know, organizational innovation. But first of all, creativity alone cannot just give birth to organizational innovation. Your creativity must, must lead you to innovative behavior at your personal level before you now have a, a supportive culture, a supportive organizational culture, which can also be here, or it can be a, a, a moderated variable before you can have this. I believe this was informative for you. Thank you for viewing.